My Kenmore JBN D26 refrigerator is not cooling, 68F. The freeze was working, 20F, and there was ice on the back inside wall in the fridge area and in the freezer area. I suspect because of a faulty ice tray that leaked water everywhere. I unplugged the fridge and let it defrost for the last 24 hours to melt the ice. While it was defrosting I cleaned the condenser coils in the back of the unit. This morning, I plugged it in and now the control panel is blank and frig area light does not go on. The freezer area light goes on and the fan inside the ice maker is running and the fan in the back that blows on the condenser coils is running. Slightly cool air is coming from the ice maker section and freezer area. Hello from Just Answer in the Appliance category my name is Woody. I will be glad to assist you today. I have been servicing all major brands of appliances for 36 years. I own my own appliance repair company and I teach appliance repair at a local community college. I have over 100,000 plus in home repairs and over 80,000 internet repairs under my belt. You will be paying me for my answer to your appliance question, not for the repair of your appliance hence the name of this site just answer. I will do my best to take the information that you provide to me and make a diagnosis for you to be able to repair your own appliance. Can I please have the full model number of the unit to better assist you? All Sears Kenmore products have a 10 to 11 digit model number that look like this 123. Hash, hash hash slash p open the fresh food section door the model slash serial tag should be on the interior wall near the top. Hi Woody, model, 253.703121213. Thank you. Give me a minute or two to pull up information on this model. The control panel just turned on. It has two codes I CF that can't be good. Frown. Okay if you had frost on the rear interior walls of both the fresh food and freezer sections that is most likely either one of the doors were not fully closed and warm moist air was allowed in, or the unit is not going into an automatic defrost mod. But if it was the ice maker the ice would have been in just the fresh food section where the ice maker was located. And now that you have plugged the unit back in and control panel is blank and the fresh food section lights are not coming on that makes me suspect that the electronic control was number one not defrosting the unit automatically, and now has failed because it is not letting the unit come on or the fresh food section lights to come on. And the size CF tells me, Communication failure between main control board and user interface control I recommend to replace the electronic control board. The link below is to the part you will need from a highly recommended company rated A plus with the Better Business Bureau. They offer a 100% money back guarantee, even on installed electrical parts, for an entire year. They are the only company to allow returns on installed parts for a refund and offer a full one-year warranty. HTTPS colon slash www.repairclinic.com slash part details slash main control board slash 2421152793379127 slash question mark replaced manufacturer part number equals 2421152421 question mark recade equals 1000070 if you have any questions just reply back to me. It beeped again and now it looks like it's working. Frig lights are working and temp shows on panel. Let me see if frig area cools. Okay you may have a glitch in the electronic control board software that is going bad. But let's see if it starts to cool. And how long was it plugged in for before it came back to life? It was plugged in about 30 minutes. It's now freezer 41F frig 62F already noticed a small spot of frost, size of a quarter, and the freezer on the back wall. That seems odd. There is no air blowing into the freezer area but it's cold. 
Okay no air blowing in the freezer section the freezer evaporator fan may be on a thermostat so it will not come on until the temperature drops, just watch it and see if the fan never comes on and let me know. Freezer is now 26F Frig 49F I still don't notice the freezer fan coming on. The fan may not come on until the freezer temp reaches around 20F. The freezer is 13 at Frig 38 so it's working but the fan on the freezer is not going on. It did go on months ago but I can't remember it going on in the last few months. The freeze was always cold but ice cream would be a little soft. Maybe the fan is still stuck. There was ice in the bottom freezer vents before I defrosted it. I thought it was all defrosted. Maybe it won't fully defrosted. I don't see a way to get to the freezer fan. To gain access the freezer fan you will need to remove everything out of the freezer remove the rear interior wall panel. Or you can remove the fan cover and at least push the fan to make sure it is not jammed. HTTP colon slash C dot searspartsdirect.com slash lease underscore PNG slash PLDM slash 1305203P0003 dot PNG fan cover item number one then the fan should item number 96. Okay is there an easy way to get the freezer door off? It's in the way. Open the freezer drawer and you have two screws on each side that hold the drawer onto the slides. Then the drawer will lift right off. I took the freezer fan out, looked at it and then put it back in. I didn't do anything other than disconnect it and reconnect it. The fan started working. I put everything back together and now it's working. Thanks for your assistance. I checked the freezer fan and it is running. I thought this issue was fixed but after a few days the fridge area is not getting cold again. The freezer is 0F but the fridge is 68F the freezer fan does come on when I shut the freezer door. The fan that is inside the ice maker is also running. I noticed that the back of the fridge area, under the ice maker has ice build up again. Also on the back of the fridge there is a very cold spot, 10 inches, that is causing condensation on the back of the fridge. Yes I suspect that you're having an automatic defrost issue. That is controlled via the electronic control board, you will need to order it and replace it. That is the control board that I sent you the link to earlier. Here is his once again if you do need it www.repairclinic.com slash part detail slash main control board slash 24211527 slash 3379127 question mark replace manufacturer part number equals 24211524 question mark recade equals 100070 if you have any questions just reply back to me. I have ordered the control board but while I wait I remove the ice maker unit completely and can see frost build up on the coils behind the ice maker. I defrosted the coils with a dryer and started the fridge back. Within an hour the coils were frosted over again. I'm curious how the controller board will prevent this. Does the fridge auto defrost the coils? Here is what the coils behind the ice maker look like before defrost. I have the new control board but when I plug it in nothing happens. I put the old board in and the fan comes on. Is there something I have to do to start up the new controller board? Yes as per what I sent you on the 20th of February. Yes I suspect that you're having an automatic defrost issue. That is controlled via the electronic control board, you will need to order it and replace it. The electronic control board is what tells every component when to go on and when to go off. 
so so you defrosting the coils all you did was just manually defrost the freezer evaporator coils as where the control board does it automatically. I have the new controller board and when I plug it in nothing happens. Fridge doesn't run the lights don't come on nothing. I left the new board plugged in for a hour and it still doesn't do anything. I am able to put the old control board back in and at least the fan runs, the freezer light comes on and it gets cold but it freezes over. This is the second controller board I ordered from repairclinic.com the first one did nothing so I called repair clinic and they sent a new board and the second board does nothing. When I contacted repairclinic.com they asked for my serial number and they confirmed that it was the right board. I'm not sure what to do now. You can return it and order from a different parts dealer. Sears has it in stock http colon slash www.searspartsdirect.com slash part number slash 24215241 slash 0046 slash 253.html. Model number equals 25370312213 and category name equals bottom mount percent 20 refrigerator and brand name equals Kenmore and do the old and new boards look the same or similar? If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.